guys I'm I'm kind of broken up it's just uh, you've seen the title you know what I'm talking about and I broke down I straight up broke down when in 2015 you have two relatively privileged people going to the UN to bring up their first world problem of not being able to ignore internet comments or just get off the internet entirely and you remember the scope of the things happening I'm sorry this is just you remember the scope of the things happening in the world nowadays I mean you have women being thrown in jail for having illegitimate child probably due to rape in those countries being thrown in jail for like six years six years of their fucking lives thrown in jail for something that they had no real influence to <laughs> you have people I mean you have <laughs> <laughs> You have people being killed for thinking differently than their fucking government. You have people being thrown off roofs for just being born the wrong way, right? That their government and fucking religion is considering them born the wrong fucking way. You have people being killed for trying to escape these countries. And what the U.S. is bringing to the fucking U.N. is first world problem of privileged, pampered idiots, sociopaths, who can't even fucking shut off their computers. I mean, fuck, man, you... Have you ever fucking considered what some of these refugees have to deal with now? Especially when there's messages being sent by those cult leaders saying that we've sent people infiltrating through, through those refugees and looking at the shit that's happening in fucking Germany. You think that's going to make it easier for those refugees now? The legit ones? And the people that are trying to call out, you know, trying to fight back, and they're getting killed. Rape problems in India and other countries. Real, legit fucking problems. <laughs> oh, man, and we have people... <laughs> bringing first world fucking problem of not being able to take critiques and comments on the internet. Sociopaths who do not think about other people but themselves because they would have fucking actually donated to real feminist movements going around the world trying to stop this butchery. I mean, fuck, there's women being considered terrorists just for fucking driving. They're getting fucking killed. Like, God, this is what the U.S. is bringing to the U.N.? This is what the U.N. is going to start listening to? Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Supernova! <laughs> Take it now, Comet! 
and take it. If only. Wouldn't it be funny, right? Wouldn't it be? And that's how I created my character, Corporate Rom. Rootless bastard. Oh, right, what was I... Shit. What was I on about? Ah, fuck, yeah, Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn at the UN. Time to keep it real. Alright, you pampered privileged peaches. You're talking all this good shit about strong independent women and all that, but you can't even keep up to the veterans. Hillary Clinton! I mean, fuck! Imagine how much harassment that she had to deal through. Imagine all the criticism that she had to deal through. All the parodies on SNL. Guess what? She's still standing! But hell, you're so fucking sheltered and privileged, you ain't even up to the heels of Mr. Ed! And that's a motherfucking horse! Ha <laughs> ha! Now let's be honest, new generation's the future. Fuck no it ain't. Those millennials are so fucking pampered, they can't even get out the fucking cradle without whining about it on Twitter. <laughs> that's fucking pathetic. You people think having Donald Trump for the election to vote is bad enough. Imagine in 25 years, next election, someone's gonna bring up Twitter log to smear his opponent and say, this person's been harassing me. Woo! 2015, have a comet come in and end this shit before it gets worse. Because we are getting the bottom of the barrel. Back to the main point. If you can't take the criticism, Get off the internet, there's been many people before, strong women, much stronger than your fucking pampered privileged ass, which have gone further on, and guess what, they didn't need a gender's degree diploma, they didn't set themselves into an ideological victimhood complex, fucking toughen up and grow up, or get the fuck off the stage, don't try to fucking censor anyone else for your idiocy and lack of logic, I'm out. This message was brought to you by the Ron Meech Q, reminding you that if you can't get far in life, you don't need to make an ideological cult in order to bring everyone else down. You just need to shut off the computer, shut off your cell phone, get your work, get your head in gear, perform, make some contacts outside the computer, stop thinking that the entire world is against you, and just perform. Because you're not identified by your sex or your race, you're identified by your actions and experiences. Peace out and have a good life.